And hey guys, Mushroom Gecko here, and I'm doing another mod review. It is the DayZ mod. So, uh, it's based off the zombie game DayZ. So, uh, yeah, I messed around with it. So, I'm pretty sure I know more about this than the Pixel Mod mod. So, hopefully, I don't act like a or look like a derp. So, yeah. So, first, hang on, wait. With these mods, I really need to load down my render distance. So, the first mob we have here is the Walker. Are there different walkers? Yeah, there's different walkers. Alright, so that's cool. Uh, I'm not sure how many walkers. Okay, so, so far three, so far four, uh, five. So, I'm guessing there's only five. Six. No, just five. Alright, so there's five walkers, and then we have another mob called the crawler. Uh, there's one, just one. Alright, so, so there's just one crawler type. So, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure they'll only spawn at night. And. Oh, yeah. I don't have that gun. And I have that gun. Alright, so. And we'll get into that stuff later. Alright, so. Let's see this gun. So that's pretty strong. This. So that's pretty strong. How about this? Alright, how about the Lee Enfield? <coughs> that's also pretty strong. I, I'm guessing all these guns are really strong. Oh, that's one shot, one kill. Alright, how about this? Man, alright, so these last two guns right here are one shot, one kill. Uh, what I do not know is how to make these. I'm pretty sure you get these from, like, structures around the world. But we also have some armor called the camouflage armor. I'm pretty sure it makes you, with the word, camouflaged. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, uh, yeah, so let's see how good we look. Control F4, F5. Nobody can see anything. Nobody can see me. Yeah. Anyway, uh, F5. So, yeah, uh, that's the camouflage armor. So, uh, Daisy. Sandbags, uh, chain link fence barbed wire, and loot chest. So, the sandbags, I'm not really sure what they do. I think those are just the structures and where the chests spawn in. I have not seen any uh, structures around here somewhere yet at all. So maybe later we'll go hunting for some, but I'm not sure if... Alright, but here's some chain link fence. It works just like um, uh, glass pane. And then you can place down barbed wire, which I'm pretty sure hurts uh, mobs. Oh, no, it acts like uh, spider webs. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but does it hurt mobs? That answers my question. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, uh, and then the loot chest. Ah. So then it's just a chest. They went through all that trouble just to implement a chest. Alright, so, uh, clear. Now, uh, the matches. And bench. And antibiotics. And blood bag. And baseball bat. Alright, then I'll get to into those. Box matches, pretty self-explanatory. Bandages, I'm um, pretty sure heal you. Antibiotics, I believe, also heal you from, like, buffs and stuff. So, slash, uh, game mode, uh, zero. Yep. Game mod mode, zero. 
So, uh, come and get me, zombie. So, yeah, uh, antibiotics, heal, and then bandages, heal you, I'm pretty- Ah! Okay, okay, bail, bail, alright, baseball bat, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly with a baseball bat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, any other- No! Okay. So, I'm just poisoned, uh, game mode one. Yes! You can kill me now, zombie. Uh, the blood bag does nothing, I guess. Cannot be self apply. So, uh, as you just saw, I used a baseball bat and baseball bat with nails. So, uh, let's just see how much damage this does. Three. So, that takes three hits on them. The nailed bat takes, uh, blah, 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 does, does, how much damage do you do? One, two, also does two damage. The plank. I guess we can use it on him, but I'm not sure how much health he has. One, two, to two on that, and then the nailed plank, I'm pretty sure, also does two. So, uh, yeah. So, that was that. So, steel pipe, crowbar, and machete. Now, the steel... Now, the crowbar isn't really used to... Um, really do anything. Or the crow, the crowbar is used to open up crates that you find in the sandbag houses. So if we can find those later, then that would be great. But I'm not sure if we will find any in this episode. I'm not sure if they took it out or what's up. But I did see a few mod reviews on this mod, and I am pretty sure I saw a house with a few um chests in it. So yeah. That's pretty much all I really have to do, except for test this out on a normal zombie. One, two, three. Alright, so that was three. Uh, how much does crowbar do? I'm just curious. One, two, three. So, yeah, okay, and then the machete. Come on. Okay, one, okay, uh, I should not be flying. Two, three, four, alright, so the machete does the least amount of damage. So, yeah, that's pretty much today's Z mod. I uh, could not really find any of those uh, huts. I was talking about earlier, as you saw during the mod review, I did not find them. But who knows, while we're flying around while I'm seeing my outro, maybe we can find a few if we're lucky. So, yeah, live a wonderful life in the Mysterium Mushroom. Have a good time in the Club Gecko. And keep those gems shining, everyone. Gecko out. Boop! And if you do want me to do a mod review, or not a mod review, uh, a Let's Play like I'm doing with the Pixelmon series, that if you guys want me to do that, um, then just leave a comment below, because I can probably start a little mod pack called MG Mod Pack or something. And uh, if Crafting Terminal lets me. And, uh, maybe post it on Planet Minecraft, and, uh, just, oh, yeah, just start my own series of my own little mod pack. So, yeah, see you guys, uh, over this mountain. Let's see what's over this mountain real quick. These mods really lag you up, man. Ah! You're ruining the, the... Wow, it's just like all snow nice and then just lava at the bottom. Wow. Alright, so yeah, see you guys.